Recent years, the state has paid special attention to the development of Sinai through a comprehensive vision of sustainable development. And uh, to shed more light on this issue, we're delighted to be joined over the telephone by Dr. Yum al Hamai, Professor of Economics in Shams University. Dr. Yum, very good afternoon to you, ma'am. Good afternoon to you. Thank you very much for joining us, doctor. And of course, a very happy Ramadan to you. And let me start by asking you, doctor, what are the most you know, important economic components uh, uh, you know, that have been put recently and over the last few years uh, in the development of the Sinai Peninsula? Uh, actually, happy Ramadan for uh, all Muslims uh, around the world uh, and uh, congratulations for uh, the 10th of Ramadan. This is a day of glory for Egypt in yes. which Egypt uh, had succeeded to achieve a, a great victory uh, and to be able to return uh, each piece of, uh, of our land, uh, including Sinai. Yes. And uh, from this time, actually, uh, we had uh, witnessed uh, uh, some efforts in order to not only just having this uh, area that is uh, quite uh, actually close to our hearts as Egyptians, uh, uh, we all know that and this, uh, this time to how extent we were uh, uh, actually our feelings in this period, but uh, yes. besides what uh, we need to do is to uh, make the area, uh, you know, an economic area in which we can have more opportunities of job for our use. Uh, we need, uh, you know, to uh, address, uh, you know, uh, this condensation of population in uh, several areas, in very small areas in Egypt. We used to live in only 5% to 6% of our land, but Sinai is representing nowadays to us a national security in order to attract youth to live there and mm. to uh, to have economic and in order to do that we need to have infrastructure we need to have uh, you know uh, communities yes. uh, complete communities in which we can have economic activities and uh, we witness uh, during the uh, last years that uh, Egypt has exerted uh, very good efforts toward uh, number one cultivation of land nowadays mm. we have uh, we have increased uh, the, uh, successfully and to large extent the cultivated area in Sinai by extending water into the area yes. and by specifying which areas and what crops can be cultivated in economic way. So this is part of the story that we have to activate it and to, to ask our youth to go there. And they are actu actually anxious to do that. But we need to build communities and, uh, uh, you know, to complete infrastructure. Nowadays, we have transportation, we have ports, we have, uh, you know, electricity nowadays, uh, that uh, which is essential for any economic activity. Nowadays, electricity uh, uh, and uh, uh, most of all and the most important is peace. Uh, and uh, security nowadays, and uh, we were quite happy to return back El Arish and all these areas, because yeah. all these areas actually are full of resources. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of economic resources, according to our studies as economists. We have a lot of resources, mineral resources, uh, uh, natural resources, as well as human resources, people living in Sinai, and they are actually looking forward for others to come and to join them in order to uh, exploit the resources in these areas. So Absolutely. by planning, mm -hmm. we can actually, and by implementation and addressing challenges, mm -hmm. we can do a lot for Speaking this Speaking about those challenges, Dr. Yumn, one of the main problems was the issue of linking Sinai you know, with the rest of the Republic. Uh, what are some of the most important mm -hmm. methods that you see have been used in this regard as to link Sinai to the rest of the country? The most important thing that happened is the tunnels. Uh, you know, the tunnels nowadays that link Sinai with uh, all parts of Egypt. And I believe these tunnels, uh, you know, we spend a lot of these tunnels, but uh, they nowadays they are representing a very important uh, uh, way in order to facilitate transportation and to facilitate moving uh, mm -hmm. uh, people and uh, goods, uh, uh, you know, by these tunnels. So I believe this 
is making economic activities more feasible. And I believe that nowadays we have uh, a planning for a lot of activities, not only for the agriculture land, but, but for industrialization, mm. because we need to uh, manufacture the product, uh, uh, the cultivated areas to have, uh, you know, industrial parks in order to use resources, uh, mineral resources, as well as natural resources there. Uh, we need actually to activate the area of Suez Canal and uh, nowadays we have the economic zone of Suez Canal uh, doing quite well uh, in order to attract foreign investment. Uh, actually, we, we, we used to have challenges uh, regarding the foreign direct investment and we all know these challenges if we refer to the competitiveness index or to the business index. We know quite well the main challenges, but lately we have witnessed, uh, uh, you know, uh, our government is exerting very good efforts towards addressing such challenges and trying to facilitate and ease the environment for investment. And I believe we have nowadays a golden license and I believe part of this golden license of these projects that have, uh, that have got um, uh, uh, the golden license uh, are existing in uh, Suez Canal uh, economic area. So we have Chinese working there. We have the, the Russian area. We, we, we have attracted other investment regarding the green hydrogen and um, what uh, is now referred as addressing climate change, renewable energy. So all these uh, actually ambitious uh, plans yes. uh, are quite uh, nowadays uh, uh, ready to attract uh, industry. Absolutely. Dr. Neum, you also raised a very important issue, which is the development of the infrastructure. We've seen great development in the infrastructure in the area. Uh, what are some of the most important sectors that you have seen uh, developed in the Sinai Peninsula? And we've seen uh, lots of establishments as well over the last few years. Actually, the tunnels, first of all, and the uh, electricity and then uh, uh, transportation methods uh, are nowadays you can uh, link in all parts of Sinai uh, in, a, uh, in a better way. Uh, and linking actually uh, Sinai with the Upper Egypt, mm. you know, uh, in order to, uh, to provide the more opportunities for uh, visible projects. And uh, this project, uh, uh, according to our comparative advantage and for exportation, so uh, we have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, very ambitious plans towards yeah. that. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, water, uh, yeah. clean water. Nowadays we have several stations for... Uh, uh, desalination of water as well, and these are can be considered as uh, the main element for life, mm -hmm. uh, for starting a new life for for uh, any family that would like to go there. We need to activate that by, by uh, you know enhancing more investment, small and medium enterprises, as well as uh, facilitating for those small business starting their uh, business in these new areas. Yes. Doctor, you spoke about very important issues rela related to uh, infrastructure and the ports. We've seen, you know, seaports and dry ports as well as an airport, and new airports that have been established, all in the aim of linking Sinai, not just to the rest of the Republic, but to the rest of the world. What are some of the most important additions in this field, uh, especially on an economic front, Doctor? Yes, this is quite important, specifically for uh, tourism. And yes. we can see nowadays that Egypt is attracting, uh, uh, you know, the number of uh, tourism is increasing significantly during last period. Uh, uh, we have uh, very nice areas. Uh, you can see in Egypt everything, you know, uh, monuments and, uh, 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 you know, very nice weather all over the year. And uh, 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 thanks God we are not affected affected by earthquakes or any you know, severe, uh, uh, you know, actions that uh, can be done all over the world nowadays during the, the, the climate change. So all these uh, are uh, providing us with a better, uh, you know, attraction as a yes. very important way for attract, attraction tourism. And still, uh, we are not getting the right number of tourism uh, according to our studies. So we are working hard towards uh, you know, uh, facilitating uh, in all the ways 
to attract more uh, tourism to Egypt. Absolutely right. Dr. Yumna al Professor of Economics, St. Shams University, thank you very much, ma'am, for your time and your insight and for joining us on our edition of Cairo Local Time.